I love the idea that people can help people. It's just so profound and beautiful to me that when someone is going through a difficult experience that somebody else can come along and, and help. What are some things that we have in common? Um, the whole reason we're at Avery. What is that one? We all have a parent or had a parent that was incarcerated. If you have that in common, raise your hand. See, we, we all share this in common. The reason I specifically wanted to work with children and also more specifically in group settings is because I know that that power to help other people is it's innate in all of us. The Avery family is like a community because they always have their back um, and they always get together no matter what race, age, shape, or who they are just in general. It's all a loving community. Who else just joined so we can welcome them in? Um, I see hey, Jordan and JCI. JJ, welcome JJ. Hey, just in the car. <laughs> it's like your family and friends into one. Like it's a place that you can feel safe at. Even though we're different, we could like, we're all the same and somehow. When you have all of these diversity of age groups all helping each other, all listening to each other, it makes for a community that really does have an organic way of healing each other. You get a real experience of something different. I can not think about my life without having all y'all in it. Cause like I started from seven years old. So it's like, I don't know what I would do without you guys. You guys are such a big part of my life and such a big support system. One of the most important means of support that we can offer is a sense of belonging to a community where they know people understand in one way or another um, the experience of having an incarcerated loved one. Many of our alumni become counselors themselves. Historically, it's always been kind of a hush-hush thing between families and, and school and all of those kind of things. So I think that's probably one of the biggest parts to the healing process, um, to realize that you're not alone. I feel like it changed my life way more than it was. Knowing other kids that went through the experience that I did is helpful because um, it makes me more comfortable talking about it. It's like great that like, you know other people because like you have somebody to talk to about it. Because me, I'm like the only, I'm the first generation in my family that has to deal with this. So like, I don't really have anyone to talk to. It was good knowing I could relate to other people that have been through the same thing I went through. So like outside of here, I know I'm not alone. You know, we have the highest population of incarcerated people in our country. And it's something that, even though it's such a big issue in our country, it's not as talked about as it should be. Children of incarcerated parents are definitely a marginalized community that people don't really think of when you think about marginalized communities. In a way, we do need to normalize, you know, having discussions about it openly and how common it is. There is a stigma around incarceration in our society. So providing this program online where they can access it from the comfort of their own home, the safety and privacy of their own home, makes it accessible. The incarcerated themselves, you know, they're able to get some help if they want it, but the child kind of has no help. There's no space for them to really, to heal. And the beautiful thing about Avery and these virtual groups is we'll be able to give everyone that space. I think the Zoom groups really connect each other without us having to meet in person and I feel like it's more reliable to get bigger groups together like it feels physical but it's mostly emotional. We create a place where people are speaking their truth they're being honest they feel safe enough and comfortable enough to let down their guard because we've shown them it's okay for you to speak your truth you're still going to belong to our community. For me my dad is in jail it's hard because I'm not able to visit him because it's like He's all the way in Nevada, which is all the way by Las Vegas, and I live in Santa Rosa. And also, especially if he, even if I wanted to visit him right now, like I can't because of coronavirus. Thanks for being real with us, Jordan, and sharing. The Avery love that we try to cultivate in our community is really about not going anywhere. It's about letting truth rip. And when we create a place where they can talk about it, they're learning a new way of being. Avery has given me so many opportunities to 
better my community, changing other people's perspectives on things. Like it's just cool to have an impact on something as big as this. So every uh, group we have um, follows an arc. We always start with something easy and light, a fun activity, a fun game. All right, this is a repeat after me song. When you're spotlighted, then you will repeat after me. Here we go. I said a boom, <laughs> chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka boom. One more time, except Whoa. this time everybody is really fast and upside down style. I said a boom, chicka rock. Oh my gosh, I'm on the ceiling, chicka rock, chicka. Then we we go over some uh, key agreements that are really important for us to have a safe, welcoming space. But what's unique about that process is we rely on the individuals and the teams who have been part of this program and there's much more buy-in. It's also an opportunity for teams to give back and leaders to give back. So KCC stands for kindness, care, and compassion. So basically it's like treat others the way you want to be treated. What's, what's great about doing this online is that we get to see um, children bring unique parts of themselves to each um, session. Uh. My name is Kaylee. Something special. Um, a necklace of me and my dad inside of it. After that, it's really important that we acknowledge the elephant in the room, that we acknowledge that we have a shared experience about incarceration. We don't ask people, hey, tell me your story, but we do acknowledge it. In a lot of ways, um, it's an invisible struggle. I remember when I was younger, my dad was gone all of a sudden, and he didn't, he wasn't at my sister's birthday. That all of a sudden I was like, oh, I guess, um, I guess my parents won't always show up for me. It was always a question of like, why do you live with your grandparents? Are you adopted? They always told me to just tell people like, oh, they're way on like a business trip or on vacation or something like that. And I'm like, but okay, these vacation and business trips can only last so long. I get the feels because I'm really grateful for you guys and the courage you have and the strength you have to be real and to be kind, caring and compassionate to each other in a crazy world then we relax and we have fun. There's actually a lot of things that you can do in the online space that you can't easily do in person. I'm gonna change one thing in my background. I'm gonna turn my camera off so you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> you moved the white thing. How do I hear Layla, but she's not even in yet? Was that to be it's important that we play games. It's important that we have fun. This is one of the best ways that we build community. And then after that, after we've, we've you know, let, blew off a little bit of steam, we've had fun. We do always create a space where we can have some real talk. So we're gonna have a mini kind of fire circle here where if you guys wanna um, have some real talk, um, you can. It's tough, man. Like my dad's in jail, it has been for about 10, 12 years will be for another freaking two, three years. I mean, you don't, I really didn't have a lot of male role models in my life and it's hard for me to express my emotions. It alters your thinking, man. Like it really makes decision making hard and it really makes thinking about the future, like what you want to do with your life really hard. You're putting so much energy in the, how, how are you going to get these emotions out first? I hope in a couple years that it'll be over and I could, sort of feel normal again, I guess. Sending you some love, Anthony. Um, can I pass, please? Of course, you can always pass. You always have the right to pass. And even those of us who pass, they sometimes it's beneficial just to listen, too. So appreciate all of you for being part of that community and being part of that this place where we can talk about it. It's not important how deep we go there. What's most important is that we're getting used to and comfortable with this idea that I can share a little bit part of myself and everybody else is still going to show me some kindness, care, and compassion. If I could change anything in the world, it would be the mindset of people so that everybody's loved. If I could change anything in the world, it would be the way that the criminal justice system is built. I would change the climate change because it's affecting animals. Every child enrolled in this program is going to get three things. One is they're going to know that they are not alone in their experience. 
The second thing that they're going to get is an opportunity to talk about it if they want to. And the third thing that they're going to get is an opportunity to be of service. There's a process of um, healing that happens through giving back. I'm grateful for all of you guys for coming to the Zoom meeting and being able to hang out for like the last hour. I want to appreciate everybody for joining today. I really, really enjoyed seeing you guys. I appreciate David for starting this Zoom. Avery is for a lifetime. Avery is long lasting. You can never get rid of us. You can never get rid of us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at first you're going to be shy, and then once you start to get used to it, you're going to feel the warmness of like your family. And then you go to Avery, then you feel that same, same feeling as you do at home. We'll be able to open up those doors for um, the millions of kids that are going through this that don't have, um, you know, the proper outlets to, to heal from this and to break the cycle of incarceration, because that's the main goal, you know, is, is to break down these generations of incarceration and, and it starts one child at a time. It's not an easy job, but, you know, it, it's going to be powerful, though. Uh, I can't say enough how grateful I am that I found Avery. And to be able to see you guys and to interact with you guys, just, just a God-given blessing, man. I just love it so much. I love y'all. We're all here together. We're all a family. So it's like, we're not going nowhere. If y'all need to talk to somebody, you can talk to anybody in Avery. And like, we don't leave nobody behind. Group is at an end. We love y'all so much. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Bye. See you next time. Bye. Three, two, one. Clap, clap.